Thank you. I've, um, I guess like uh, a lot of us, uh, most of us, I've been thinking about uh, Robin Williams. Yeah. Uh, I believe we found out uh, a week ago that uh, he had uh, died. And um, uh, many things come to mind in a situation like this. And of course, uh, more, more questions are raised than can possibly be answered. But I started reflecting about it. Uh, I knew Robin Williams uh, for 38 years. Mm. 38 years, which in and of itself is crazy how time... <laughs> And I, I met him uh, at the Comedy Store. He and I uh, were kids, uh, along with uh, myself and, and uh, Jay Leno and uh, Tom Dreesen and Tim Thomerson and uh, Johnny Dark and Elaine Boosler and, and on and on and, and uh, Jimmy Walker. And we were, you know, we were all out there at the Comedy Store and we, we wanted to, you know, make people laugh. We wanted to get on The Tonight Show. We wanted, we wanted something because we all felt that we were were funny and and we would in those days we were working for uh, uh, free drinks some were working for more free drinks than others I but, see, but. Um, uh, so what you would do is you would go on stage and then you do your little skits and then you would come off stage and if there was a new guy coming on you'd, you'd want to stick around and make fun of the new guy sure because we were all worried that, oh, somebody else is coming in who's really funny, mm -hmm. and, and then we'll have to go back, in my case, to Indiana. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I can remember <clears throat> the night uh, my friend George Miller and I, who was a very funny uh, comic and was on this show many times, we were at the uh, comedy store, and uh, they introduced uh, Robin Williams. And for some reason, in, in, in the beginning, he was introduced as being from Scotland. They said he was, <laughs> he was Scottish. I see. So w now we're, we're stumped. We don't know. There's a Scottish guy, really, coming yeah. to the United States? So we, we're feeling pretty smug about our position right away because it's going to be haggis and that kind of crap. Yeah. And, <laughs> so we're, we're relaxed. We're ready to go. And, and all of a sudden, he comes up on stage, and y you know what it is. It's, it's like nothing we had ever seen before, nothing we had ever imagined before. We go home at night and are writing our little jokes about stuff, and this guy comes in, and, 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 and we're, we're like, you know, like uh, morning dew. He comes in like a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now, the longer he's on stage, the worse we feel about ourselves. <laughs> and because it's not stopping. Yeah. Doesn't stop. And, and then he, he finishes, and I thought, oh, that's it. They're going to have to put an end to show business because what can happen after this? And, and then we get to see this night after night after night, and, and uh, we didn't approach him because we were afraid of him. Honest, honest to God, you thought, holy crap, there goes my chance at show business because of this guy from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and then, uh, like, shot out of a cannon, he, he goes and he's on the Happy Day show. Yeah. And then from the Happy Day show, he gets to be on Mork and Mindy. Now, he, now there's some structure to his life. He's not at the comedy store every night because he's got an actual job. <laughs> so the rest of us can pretend that it never happened. <laughs> but, but yet then he, he goes from... Uh, Mork and Mindy, and then he starts uh, making movie after movie after movie. He's nominated uh, four times yeah. for an Academy Award. And it wasn't really until Paul and I started uh, the NBC version of this uh, show, which, by the way, is still running in Mexico. It is. <laughs> Very popular. <What> is <laughs> But it wasn't until then uh, that I sort of got to really know Robin Williams because he would come on uh, to promote movies or concerts or whatever he was talking about. And he was always so gracious and we would talk about the old times and, and never did he act like, oh, I knew you guys were scared because I was so good. Uh, and it was just a pleasure to know the guy. And, and he was a gentleman and delightful and even in the old days, uh, he was kind enough to ask me to appear on his Mork and Mindy show. Now, this is a double-edged sword. <laughs> because he did it only because he was trying to help other uh, fledgling, starting out comics. Makes sense. Right. Uh, the other side of the sword is I, I had no business being on that show. I can't... I, I have no business being on this show. Well... <laughs> um,
But he was nice. He gave me a job. And yeah. so I there and, and in those days jobs were hard to come by and there I was and I was on Mork and Mindy and I can remember uh, b between the the dress rehearsal and the actual taping of the show the, the director of the program Howard 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 Shore Howard, Howard Storm Howard Storm Howard Storm comes up to me and he says uh, well you've been trying all week he says this is your last chance <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So, so even to the detriment of the show, Robin was kind enough to invite me to come on because he thought, why, why can't I spread this around and have some of my friends uh, share in my success, which is exactly what he did. He w then was on our show, this show and the old show, uh, a, a total of nearly 50 times. A right, total of 50 times. 50 times. 50 times. <laughs> And uh, two things would happen because Robin was on uh, the program. One, I didn't have to do anything. Yes. I, all I had to do was sit here and watch the machine. Yeah. Uh, and two, uh, he, uh, people would watch. If they knew Robin was on this show, the, the viewership would go up because they wanted to see Robin. Yeah. And, and believe me, that wasn't just true of television. I believe that was true of the kind of guy he was. People were drawn to him because of this electricity, no the, this, this uh, whatever it was that he radiated that, that propelled him and, and powered him. Uh, and then he came on, uh, when I uh, came back after my heart surgery, right. Robin was nice enough to, to come on that night, and it was very, very funny and very, very uh, 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 appropriate. And here's a, a picture that I will now... Uh, cherish even more than I had previously. There are four people right there. Wow. Two, two of which, two of which wildly funny, insanely funny. Uh, two are not. Ah. The, uh, the uh, handsome woman there is Mitzi Shore. She owned the uh, comedy store. We all, uh, the three of us, worked there. I think Robin and I, would be safe to say, we started there. Richard Pryor was already Richard Pryor, but he would work there. And uh, the guy in the middle, I uh, trimmed hedges. Yes. I was... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so we would like to... Uh... We put together a, uh, a segment of Robin Williams' uh, appearances, and uh, moreover, more than anything, it will uh, make you laugh, and, and, and really that's uh, what we should take from this, is he could make you laugh under any circumstances. Here he is on our show. It's from the Gandhi on Ice collection. <laughs> Oh, God, how you doing, Mr. Williams? God, Mrs. Doubtfire is very funny. You know, you're much more attractive as an older woman. <laughs> hold him, hold Okay, him. I got him, I got him! All right! Take it easy, Derek! Our next... My first day on the job! <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't see this at the surgery? Hey, Dave, it's me! <laughs> they just thought it'd be real funny! Uh, you had a television show, Mork and Mindy, of course. Nice. And uh, the producers, for some unknown reason, invited me for like a little thing on the show that's right you played a like i know a, i've never seen it i not bring myself to watch it until tonight you have it here <laughs> somebody has stolen my rolls royce choosing your rolls royce is a concept getting it back is a reality <laughs> It's amazing when you win the Academy Award, you have like about a week where everyone's like, hey, Goodwill Hunting, way to go. Goodwill Hunting, Academy Award, way to go. And two weeks later, it's like, hey, Mork, how are you? God bless you, my friend. Beyond being a 
very talented man uh, and, a, and a good friend and, and a gentleman. I'm, I'm sorry, like everybody else, I had no idea uh, that the man was in pain, that the man was suffering. Uh, but what a guy, Robin Williams. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.